Am I recording? Yep. So, so Bet knows how to do the stairs. Hey everybody, Ethan and Kat here, and we are ready for the 16 week update of our littermates. Trust me folks, this space is not real. I am just trying to grin and bear through what has been the worst experiment we have ever undertaken in videoing videos. Which is why we have literally for years said, don't raise littermates. Tell us how you really feel, Ethan. <laughs> Um, to be totally honest though. Brutally honest. Brutally honest. There you go. Um, it is tough. There's a lot of pieces that it takes to develop a single puppy. And when you double that down, it doesn't turn into two. It compounds and it's exponentially more work. Anything that we're doing, it involves not letting out one puppy. It involves letting out two puppies, which takes multiple, multiple times for let outs that are individual because they're littermates and they need to be kept separate. And when you double down on two puppies, um, things become more challenging and you have to get more creative on how those training sessions look and how their individual time looks. So um, a lot of dividing and conquering. If Ethan goes to the field, he'll take his puppy with him. If I'm running errands in town, I will take my puppy with me. Um, so though the puppies are both getting developed and we are hitting milestones with them, they are different milestones. So today, we're going to be demoing again what our puppies know now at 16 weeks. And I bet you will see a difference between what my puppy knows and what Ethan's puppy knows. And it'll be up to you to decide who's doing a better job and which puppy knows more um, and who can demo that the best. <laughs> yes. Um, all of that being said, we're about to move into what is a easier time frame. As we approach collar conditioning with these independent dogs, it will allow us to kind of bring the puppies back together a little bit. Uh, things like free runs or even sometimes going out to go to the bathroom, they can, uh, once, once we've established collar conditioning, we have a drastically more reliable way to communicate with the puppies and say individually to them or whichever it is, come back to me when I call you. When they're out in the house, we can have them both out at the same time instead of again having to divide that time by saying, you stay on your dog bed, you stay on your dog bed. This gives us the ability to monitor what's going on, make sure that they are doing things properly, but have the ability to prevent them from just, I mean, instantly when you dump them out together, just as like this- WrestleMania. WrestleMania off into wherever they go, which is a big part of why we say, don't get two puppies at the same time it's a lot, it's a lot of work. And if it isn't a lot of work or the folks that are watching this saying, oh, I've always raised litter mates, I'm gonna poke just a smidgen. You probably didn't separate them at all. You just let them entertain themselves, which may or may not have worked out for you. That's fantastic. But all said and done, you're going to end up with a lot of the problems that we outline in other videos talking about not raising two puppies together for the entirety of their life. So let's go ahead and roll into um, demonstration of what Bet can do and what Dual can do at 16 weeks. All right, so here we've got Dual. She is 16 weeks old. I'm gonna demo. She is getting pretty good at all of these games. Good, Kennel. Good girl. She also knows how to kennel in her crate. Good dog. Good dog. Lots of opportunities in a small environment here. Whoa. Good girl. There you go. Good. Kennel. Good. And then the last piece would be we have been working a little bit on <laughs> retrieving, but also nail trimming. Come here, come here, come here. From a nail trimming standpoint, um, getting very, very, very good at being still and calm and allowing 
these basically weekly nail trims. We just done these and when you stay up on top of them, they don't need a lot. If you do let them lapse for a week or so, you could need to do a little more trimming before you do some grinding. Good. But your puppies, folks, should also look like this. If you're struggling, don't hesitate to reach out. Patreon.com slash Standing Stone Kennels. Good. Let's see. Let's totally, well, totally chill. Legs are kind of up in the air, but totally chill for her nail trims. Good. And then this is not an optimal place for retrieving. I don't know how much you can see in the video or not. If we come back here, this is probably a horrible idea to go that way. There's a lot of open things over there. We can also, because my plan was to go outside to do my retrieving session, but. Well, you're braver than me. Okay. Hey, there you go. Come on, come on, come on. Good girl. Just working on little retrieves, delivery back. Um, all of these things, like I said, are at the point with 16 weeks moving into more fun stuff and going outside to show off all of that. Um, she has had a small introduction for birds. She's also riding in the truck for training sessions throughout the day. She's ridden in the trailer. So all of these things are additional socialization aspects that um, don't necessarily involve training per se, but just preparing for the future. So that is dual at 16 weeks. Am I recording? Yep. So Bet knows how to do the stairs. <laughs> Perfect. Come back downstairs, Bet. Good girl. Super well socialized. Check. Okay, now we're gonna get rolling with the training session. So she knows how to recall here. She's a lot more jumpy. Good, good, okay. She's doing a little guessing. Give her a second to settle down. Here. Sit. Ah, 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 ah. Sit. Sit. Kennel. Kennel. Okay. Whoa. Try sit again. Sit. Good. Kennel here too. No, no, no. Bet. Not up the stairs. Hey. Kennel. Good girl. I am still working on helping lure from a healing standpoint. So getting her swung into that heel. Good. And then we've been working on chaining some behaviors. Kennel. Not up the stairs. Sit. Good. Okay. Okay. Here. Sit. Sit. Ah, ah, ah. Bet. Here. Sit. Sit. Ah. Sit. You know how. No, no, no. She's, hey, hey, hey. Lost focus for a second. Sit, let's finish this one. Good. Kennel. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. kennel. We don't train here 
ever. It just felt like a good place to do a video. Um, so the stairs are a new thing. Okay, so we've also been doing nail trims. So let me grab that real quick. Much improvement on the wiggliness. Good. Again, like Ethan said, we keep up on these. So there's usually not much that we have to take off. Very cuddly sweet puppies, aren't you guys? You are, you are. And though I have not done a bird introduction yet with my puppy, um, she has gone on errands and car rides with me for sure, um, but I do wanna show you her retrieving that we've been working on improving and that's outside. So we'll have to get the camera set up out there and I'll show you her retrieving. Okay, so still pretty cooperative. Um, that collar conditioning when we start that will be amazing though. So get my check cord untangled. Ready, ready? So I don't step on it, but, okay. Good girl. Good job, bet, bet. Bet. Atta girl, come here, come here. Ha <laughs> ha, gotcha. Come here, come here, come here. Bet. Come here, baby. Bet. Come here, come here. Good. Come here. Come on, come on. Come here, come here. Come here. Good, oh so good. Oh, that's a good girl. Oh yeah, little tugs, little tugs. Okay, 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 good, good. Okay, ready, ready, ready. Ready, ready, ready. Okay. Atta girl. Good girl, bet, bet. Right here, uh, uh, uh. Bet. Bet, bet, bet. <laughs> yes, she ran off around the house. I've been doing the retrieves in the backyard, okay? Bet. Atta girl, good girl, here she comes. Here she comes, good, good, good. Come here, come here. Puppy, puppy, puppy. Bet, good. Come on, come here. Bet, bet, bet. Come on, come on. Bet. Oh, come here. Come here. Bet. Here. Come on. Come on. Come here. Come here. Good, 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 good. Yes, 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 yes. Get it, get it, get it. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yes. Good. Good. Then a little tug, praising her up for bringing it. Good girl, good girl, let's do one more. And I'm gonna try and get that check cord before you disappear on me this time. So good, so good, so good, that's fine. That's fine, nice vice grip, that's good. Ready? Okay. Add a girl, bet. Good baby girl, come on, come on, come on. Yes, 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 come here. Good, 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 come here, oh, so good. Oh, so good, come here. Come on. Get it, get it, good. Come here, come here. Good girl, come here. Good, good. Doing a good job holding on to it. Good job, good job. That was a good one. Good girl, okay. Leave her all teased up and excited for the next one. Good girl, good. Okay, that's what Bet knows. Make sure to vote 
for who's doing a better job and whose puppy knows more and put that in the comments below. We'll see you in their next update video.